What's up YouTube? If you're currently in lockdown, I hope you're staying safe and keeping well. Uh, today I am cooking a really simple recipe that came about when I was in lockdown for four weeks. It is a recipe for a mushroom carbonara. And the reason why it is mushroom and not your traditional uh, carbonara with pancetta and uh, guanciale is because I had to take out um, you know, whatever was in my fridge. And at the time I had some mushrooms. So the recipe came about uh, you know, when I was craving carbonara and um, turned out to be quite good. So here's my recipe. It's uh, fully vegetarian and it's really simple. So the key here is only to have a few ingredients. And so I'll be using um, eggs, garlic, onions, mushroom, and uh, uh, Parmesan cheese, and also some herbs. And um, that's pretty much it. Okay, so normally you would put some salt into uh, cooking your pasta but for me I'm trying to be salt free uh, due to personal reasons so I'm putting in some olive oil instead into the water and when it's boiling pasta in like that okay so while the pasta cook for about seven to eight minutes I will prepare the carbonara sauce and so in the sauce it's really really simple uh, it's just parmesan cheese and eggs and pepper so the recipe uses four eggs. I'll be using two full eggs and two just the egg yolk. And so I've got this uh, really handy egg yolk Parmesan cheese, grated, and I'll add it to the eggs. And of course, pepper. Lots and lots of pepper. See, so you mix it up together and you get this really nice creamy sauce. And just set it aside for a while. So the mushrooms I'm using are white butter mushrooms, but you can use portobello ones or brown mushrooms. They're all great for this recipe. So when cooking mushrooms, you find sometimes that uh, there might be too much, or you know, you're flooding the pan with mushrooms. And so in that situation, I always, always recommend to use a pot instead of a pan. So we'll just go right and uh, put the mushrooms in now. And so these mushrooms are going to take maybe about four to five minutes. And the key is not to stir it too much because you really want them to start browning by itself. So I'll just go ahead and close that and come back in four to five minutes. So pancetta and gonciale are like bacon and so they're really fatty which makes the, the carbonara really nice, uh, creamy and buttery and so with the mushrooms we don't have that and so my workaround is to, uh, to put a bit of butter into the recipe and so that gives it that, um, you know, a bit of the pancetta gonciale taste. Smells amazing. Right, so you can see that the mushrooms are really browning right now and that's about time to put in your onions and garlic. Give that a nice fry. And so the onions and the garlic don't have to be too brown, so there's a bit of a crunch when you eat them. All right, so that's going to be nice and hot and then just put the pasta gently into the pot. So you don't even have to strain the pasta because what we want is a bit of water. These are perfectly cooked pasta. Put them all in there. Just mix the mushrooms and the pasta. And finally, at the carbonara sauce. Make sure everything, every single bit goes in there. And then mix it up. Now the heat from the pot is going to cook the egg and make it to a really nice cheesy cream which gives, which is the carbonara. So I've got this really nice bowl. Shout out to my good friend Phoebe. Uh, it has my name on it, there's an engraving there. 
And so I probably need to pass that in here. And there you go, a nice bowl of mushroom carbonara. Cheesy butter goodness, look at all that. And best part, zero cream. Mm. Mel, Mel, come here. Smells good, right? Smells good, right? Smell good? Smell good? Creamy, it's buttery, and the mushroom tastes just like meat. Um, mm. Mm. That's all you need. I'm just gonna finish this right now.